Hey, what's up, everybody? So, uh, I just wanted to show you guys this game I've been working on for a while. Uh, it's I call it After Space. And, um, I've been working on this for maybe about... It actually took me maybe about a week and a half. That's about maybe an hour or two every day working on it constantly. But, um, I gave it a nice, a nice feel. You're in a spaceship, and, uh, I wanted it to be, uh, wanted it to be, you know, kind of natural for the player for when he enters this uh, new atmosphere. So I give you uh, um, a ring that pops up, and you have to fly through the ring. Now you have to do this about five times. And what I wanted this to accomplish, besides gating points, which I'll add in later on in different other versions, is I wanted to give the player... Uh, give them time to develop a uh, a sense of movement and understanding of uh, how the spaceship moves and the physics. And then we have our first enemy. Now to um, to attack back so we can either press F which releases the rockets or the space bar which is our common laser. Now I actually did add sound effects to this. You probably can't hear them as well because I don't have that uh, that option set up to where you can hear them. But if you want to play this game, I will have a link in the description below. And um otherwise it's just going to be ranting on about how I developed this game. So anyways, the um our little enemy here, the AI is uh is a lot slower and shoots a lot uh less frequently as a regular enemy and you'll see here in a second so it's um it's supposed to be a little easier on the player so and then oh by the way here's the health as you can see we can take about five hits before we explode so I'm gonna go ahead destroy that guy as you can see nice graphic it explodes and then we get uh, two enemies which are a lot faster and they do shoot more frequently and I'll see if I can hit one of them with my rocket. Now this game is um, relatively kind of short. It's uh, It's got maybe about one tutorial wave and then two actual waves. Then it's the boss. So right now we're on uh, the, first, the first wave because we just finished with the tutorial. You can see how badly I suck in my own game. Okay, and, uh, well, as you can see, I just blew up and died, and it released a game over sign with a very loud and obnoxious noise. So, let's go ahead and restart it. Let's paint a little attention to the title screen. Now, if you look down the credits, it gives you a secret message that you can barely read. But it says, if we press Q, what's this? A little uh, secret uh, computer pops up. Now, when we click on the computer, it makes a loud, noxious noise, and it tells us to enter a hack. Now, um, this, is a, this is a little cheat code. If you enter health into the uh, the answer bar or the whatever it's called I guess answer bar and press enter if it's the right one so when we start the game we should have more health so instead of starting out with our typical five we now have we can now withstand 30 more hits so after going through the rings And then having our bad guy pop up, easily taken out, and then assaulted by two other, lot stronger guys. Then we come with the wave of three. This is the final wave until the boss. 
pretty easy. Now with the boss, he shoots blue rockets and can take a lot more damage than the uh, than the enemy than the uh, other enemies. So he takes maybe about uh, I believe it's, he takes about three hits from a regular laser to die, and then it, it takes him about a hit and a half from a rocket to die. So let's see if we can get, finish him off. Alright, there he goes, and uh, that's pretty much the end of the uh, alpha version of my game. So if you guys do want to play it, link in the description below. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a comment on uh, what you think of it.